I don't know if you uh, realize this, but there's this one protein that can raise insulin way more than white bread, way more than actual glucose. That protein is whey protein. So today let's discuss whey protein and is it good? Is it bad? What's my thoughts on it? What about, can it knock you out of ketosis? So white bread can increase the insulin by 87%. And if we compare that to whey protein powder, that can increase insulin by a factor of 139%. Now, normally when we eat sugar, okay, the blood sugar goes up and then insulin comes in there and pushes it down. But whey protein is not sugar, okay? It is amino acids. And those amino acids get absorbed very, very quickly. And so they have an interesting effect because they raise insulin, but apparently they don't spike your blood sugars. In fact, uh, there's been studies that show that if you're eating whey protein after a meal, it can actually help lower your blood sugars, so potentially help a diabetic. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but the point is, if, just think about it. If you're consuming something that raises insulin, it's going to then push blood sugars down. The other thing about whey protein powder is that it also, at the same time, when it increases insulin, it increases another opposing hormone called glucagon, which tends to kind of um, neutralize some of the maybe a bad effects of insulin. I think a question that people want to know is this, would whey protein knock me out of ketosis? And the answer is, well, yes, because anything that increases insulin will knock you out of ketosis. And then of course, the next question is, will whey protein powder increase weight gain? Well, I don't think it does because we're not necessarily converting glucose into fat. What we are doing is we're increasing insulin, which has, believe it or not, a lot of positive benefits, especially if someone has insulin resistance. In fact, if you take a look at all of the symptoms that relate to insulin resistance, they're really a deficiency of insulin. Why? Because with insulin resistance, you have the resistance and it takes greater and greater amounts of insulin to create the same effect. So the question is, will whey protein powder create insulin resistance? Well, it's a little bit of a mixed review because, you know, a lot of times when people take whey protein powder, they also exercise at the same time. Exercise improves insulin resistance. So the jury is still out on that. I do know that whey protein powder does stimulate muscle growth, but it also at the same time stimulates a lot of other things because it actually creates a hormonal effect on your body. So it may stimulate other organs, not just your muscles, like the prostate, for example. There's also been some data um, that it can protect the liver. Other data that says that it worsens the liver. It can create inflammation in the liver, increasing liver enzymes, especially if you take it without exercising. So there is a bit of uh, mixed reviews on exactly what it does and what it doesn't do. So would I recommend taking whey protein powder? Personally, for me, I don't take it because I don't feel good on it. I also know that whey protein powder is out of the natural milk complex. So it doesn't have the casein in it. It doesn't have any other nutrients in it versus um, like if you had a fermented dairy like cheese, right? It has everything in it plus additional microbes. So whey protein powder is kind of considered like a refined product, but for some people it can create some positive effects on their muscles, uh, allowing uh, amino acids to go into the cells a little bit better, maybe after a workout. But on the flip side, you have the whole egg and you also have meat and you have fish, which are a better quality of amino acids. Plus you get a lot of additional nutrients with that. Plus you have less of an insulin spike. But for certain people, maybe in competition with you know, bodybuilding, um, well, they swear by it and it apparently does help them. So you might just want to experiment for yourself and see if it does help you and how you feel after taking it. But I wanted to give you some additional data on whey protein that you may have not heard before. Now, since we're on the topic of dairy, okay, and let's say you're on the ketogenic plan, if you haven't seen this video, you should probably check it out. I put it up right here. 